What's up, YouTube? It's Nice Philip Rich here. Today I'm going to show how to use the FL Studio to make live beat when you're DJing. So, okay, to start, let's go to the new basic, and here we are all start when we start the FL Studio, right? I'm going to put a bit volume and less and go to the tools, macros, prepare for performance mode, and press OK. Okay, so listen to this. You first set up the patterns that you would like. So, if you press F2, you rename, and I'm going to put the kick 4 and going to press F4 to make a new pattern and call this clap. I'm going to put two claps and let's press 4 and type melody, right? Now it's easy. So for the melody, I'm going to change and put FL keys, right click, P oh my bad, right click piano roll and I'm just going to put something extremely fast. So just going to have an idea how to work with this. Okay. Okay. So as far as you can see, I have three part here, beat, clap and melody. Now I'm going to drag and drop beat here. You need to know each one has to be in separate track. Try to put clap here and try to put melody here. So the only tool that you're going to use is this one. This is the mute and unmute. When you click, it's going to enable them. And to disable, you can click one more time. But let's say that you are now DJing. You press spacebar and it's going to start here. Now listen to this. Only thing that you have to do right now is just click on beat. And as far as you can see, it's going to keep repeating all the time. Let's try click on clap. You see, let's say now, so for disabling, you have to press on the track, not on the pattern, but on the track itself. Okay, and that's pretty much entire magic. So you're DJing and let's say you want to hit a kick and you know and try to enable clap and now without clap and now clap again. Okay, so let's say that you want to make music on the way so you don't have to prepare. Let's press F4 and type um, hit heads. Now because I don't have hit heads, I'm gonna go, I mean I have them but not here, I'm gonna go close hit heads. I'm going to put here in the snares, I'm going to put every second one and now I'm going to put hit heads on the 4 and press here to enable and that's entire magic, that's how we do it and if you want to you can prepare and have billions of tracks and then you just hit it and press without Yeah, so if you want to enable, you have to press it before these clockwise go to the end. Otherwise, it will wait one more time. You see, if I disable, it will keep continuously until it goes over. Let's try melody. So, no longer how long it is, it's gonna go completely through. You see, easy as that. Now, I want to disable melody. You see, it actually, it works on the beats so it won't completely go through the melody it will end at the first four beats that's it guys that's entire magic so if i were you i would prepare if i were you i would prepare multiple patterns put them each one into separate tracks and then just press spacebar and you enable or disable depends how you would like to have it you can have beat, clap, snares, hit hats, all of them can have each individual and you can have hundreds of them and when you're DJing live, you can just disable, enable, disable, depends how you'd like and that's it. You can make vocals, you can make every, everything and yeah, you press it to enable. And that's it guys, that's it, that's how you use Apple Studio Live.